looking at this tank, um, it's blown the um, wash fuse. Um, geez, this little one here, 20 mil fuse. It's blown that um, three or four times. Um, I come out here, it blown the fuse, mega it, couldn't find anything wrong with it. Put a new fuse in it, it blew straight away. Uh, mega it all again, couldn't find anything wrong with it. Put another fuse in there, and it worked fine. And then the next day, it blew the fuse on the wash. And then this is a, the day after, and it's just run through the whole wash with no problems at all. Um, but it always does it in the same part of the wash. It's either going to be the valve that lets the water in here to wash the chemical out, or the little booster pump up on the top there. Anyway. Was measuring what we had between live and neutral, and we had 15 ohms between live and neutral on the wire that fed that pump, and that seemed pretty low. But I've traced it back to the actual motor, and the windings on the motor are about 12 ohms, 12 15 ohms. So that looks like it might just be what that is, you know, the correct for that motor. I've got no detail for that. Anyway, so then we've gone into thinking maybe it's the fault with the cable because that gets behind that heater there, squash behind there, which I don't like. So I've negged that, um, and that was fine. But then we've cranked this up to a thousand volts. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, but let's see. Oh, there's a step ladder creaking as well. Jumping around. But if we put it on a lower voltage, we put that on 50 volts. 50 volts, the same 4 mega ohms. 1000. I can actually hear that sparking. So we'll take the cover off, I think there's something going on inside this heater. So the flex for the pump goes into the heater. I think let's join onto that armoured cable via this switch. It comes into that switch. Oh, oh, there we go. And then comes out in one of these flexes. We've got a lot of water in there. I think we probably better turn this off. I don't think it's leaking down the top and then got in there. Let's have a look in here. Right, well that, um, there we go. I think that might definitely be the problem. It's all, yeah, look, pump. It's labelled up pump, live and neutral. It's all burnt black and uh, melted. Because um, the original, first time it blew, it blew a glass, 20 mil glass fuse, and it completely shattered the glass. There was nothing left of it. Um, but since then I've been putting the ceramic ones in there which are a bit more robust but yeah it looks like it's got damp in there yeah not good really it needs to have a look at this heater it's not really safe yeah, well at least we found it my mega, it's a MIT 410 made by mega 50, 100, 250, 500, 1000 volts, or you can actually measure voltage with it. And then we've got ohms and kilo ohms. I think it's the water's running down inside the uh, tank. And it's getting on this little ledge here and then getting through the screw holes. But luckily the stat looks like it's um, okay. And that little fuse holder there, I, I guessed uh, it was doing the pump and it does seem to be wired in to do the pump. It's on them two brown wires. So our live comes in for the pump on this one. Goes up on the fuse holder, back down again, then off to the pump itself. So we, we can take these away from this terminal thing. Um, they're probably left, better off left floating around in the box, so they're not actually tied to the back. Where they're not going to get wet. Um, might get that working. 
and he's going to need to see where this water's coming from, whether it's uh, time for a new heater, or it might just be where it's dripping off the roof because there's a lot of condensation in there. It could be dripping on the roof and then getting in the top. I don't know where the vent is on this. Might be on the, might be, might be the overflow and the vent might be on the top. It should be piped outside. All the steam from when this is heating up water um, it condenses on the roof and drips. You can see how it's making all the steels go rusty. Well, at least we found the problem. It's that bloody terminal there. Got some, I'll just crimp those and put some brush on, electrical tape on there. I've told the customer they need to look at the heater and see what's leaking. That's the um, milking parlour guys department. Might just be because it hasn't got a vent on there, I don't know. It might be vented out the side. 